Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Today we're going to look at factorization. Okay, so we're continuing with our paper, and this question is on factorization. So we have uh, this train here, and then we asked to factorize completely. I call it a train just because um, you know you have uh, it's a train of of terms. So you have four terms here. Okay, so normally when you have four terms, what it usually means is um, you're dealing with uh, a situation where you have to match the brackets. So you have to match two brackets and then you can factorize accordingly. Okay, so for example, uh, this one and this one, they, they don't have anything in common really. So, but then this one and this one, they actually do have in com something in common. So we can just quickly rearrange. Okay, so uh, sometimes you have to, to rearrange depending on uh, what you're given. Okay, so here I'm going to write this one first. Another thing to remember, although you probably know this, is um, a number owns the sign to its left. Okay, so when you shift uh, AY here, it's actually negative AY, that's the whole term here. Okay, negative AY, it's a term of its own. And here, we didn't have uh, anything in common, so that's why we, we didn't factorize, we had to shift some stuff, okay? But then essentially, when you have four terms here, what you're dealing with is um, a case where you have to match the brackets. So here are the common, fake dice it's x okay so uh x and then you're left with okay it's actually two uh two x in the sense that for for two and six the common fake dice is two okay and then for the for the variables the common fake dice is x here so two x into two x you get a here then two x into into this one you get uh three b okay so here we're supposed to match these brackets so obviously we have to we have to factor out the negative, okay? So negative, and then obviously we have to, we have to factor out whatever is common on the on the numbers. Here on the numbers, the i is common factor, it's actually one. On the on the variables, we have y, okay? So you'd uh, be left with negative y, uh, y into this, you get um, a, and then negative y into this, you get uh, plus, plus 3b, okay? So notice that I have matched uh, my brackets, so these are the brackets that I'm talking about. So this one and this one, this is very important. Okay, so uh, we have matched the brackets and once, you, once we have matched the brackets, you can actually factor out. So it's as if you're factoring out this bracket. So it'd be A plus plus 3B here, as if you're factoring out this one. So you, you get 2X because it's A plus 3B into the whole thing. So obviously this one's the cancel and then you're left with 2X. And then on this one, you're left with negative Y like this. Okay, so you have factorized completely. So the, uh, one of the main points that you have to take away from here is that we're dealing with a case of four terms. So usually, if we can't simplify them, usually it actually means that uh, you have to use the, the method of matching the brackets, okay? Even sometimes when you can simplify them, sometimes uh, so it's also helpful to use the very same method. In this one, we have to uh, do more or less what we did uh, previously okay it lists the concepts they are very very uh, similar so here we have 27 and 3 that means that we have to uh, factor out the, the highest common factor for the numbers so the numbers it's it with 3 and then for for the for the uh, variables we don't have any common factor here we actually have uh, uh, 3 into this you have 9 and then 9 x squared here minus 3 into this then you get the uh, one so you just get uh, uh, negative y squared here what I want you to notice is that this is a this is a difference of two squares okay so this one it's difference of two squares in the sense that this one here it's a square and this one here it's also a square and then there's a negative sign here okay so when you have that situation always it's difference of two squares so you're supposed to be able to identify it the one of the key components of uh, this question was that uh, we actually couldn't tell whether it was difference of two squares before factorizing okay because 27 doesn't actually have a, a square root uh, which is uh, perfect okay so that's what we had to do first so here you take the square root of 9 x squared it means the square root of 9 which is 3 and then of x squared which is x so o and o it be 3x okay so you put uh, on one side on one side then here the square root would be y so you have to add and then on the other part you have to subtract okay so you actually get this whole thing here so you have uh, uh, factorized completely let's see if we can uh, get uh, another question yeah 
So this one needs its own functions. Okay, f of x is equal to this. This is simply um, we we can say it's an algorithm or it's something that when you put something you get a certain result. Okay, so it's a function. It's a function. Uh, you put you have an input. Then for that input you get a corresponding uh, corresponding in uh, output. Okay, so for this one it's a linear linear equation. So you actually get the only one input for for one output. Only one output for one input. Okay, so for this one, uh, it's um, it's a it's a it's a trinomial. So, uh, it's a it's it's a function again. Just uh, take it like that. It's a function again, and um, here it means that for if we can put any x here, we actually get an output. So if we asked to find f of um, f of five, so you have f of x equal to this. So f of five. Just notice that they have replaced. On x, they have replaced 5. So you're supposed to do the same here. On x, you're going to, to replace with, with 5, okay? So you actually get 3 minus. Then this uh, 2 min, min, times up times 5, you get 10, okay? So 3 minus 10, you simply get negative 7 here. So this one is what you'd get. And then for, for this one, you ask to you find g of negative 2. Notice that where, where you have x, that's where they've put negative 2. That sim, uh, this simply means put negative 2 on on x okay so when you're substituting i advise you to use brackets always all the time this is important okay even sometimes when it seems obvious just put the brackets uh, because sometimes you you tend to uh, lose the, the signs there they actually want to trick you this is a negative 2 so when you when you say uh, negative uh, negative here when you have negative here and you have uh, a, an odd number power here that means that the negative has to be preserved okay so it means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 so negative and negative you get positive but then you still have this negative here so you actually get negative 8 okay so that's the importance of um, you know just substituting so another way to go about it is to think I have a negative inside the brackets which is cool and then I have an odd number power here so if it's an odd number, it means that the negative survives. So it becomes negative, uh, negative, and then you have four here, and then obviously uh, here you have um, uh, eight. Okay, eight for the for the two. So uh, in other words, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you have negative a, for example, to the power one hundred, this negative disappears. So you just get eight to the power one hundred. Why? Because this is an even power. If you have negative a to the power, let's say 1001, this negative has to come back. Why? It survives because this one is an odd number, okay? So this is one way to think of it. So in this case, we simplified for the negative and then we are left with negative here. And then uh, we simplified for this and then we are left with 8 here. And then obviously minus 1. So here you'd be negative 30, 32 minus 1, which would be equal to negative 33, okay? So if uh, you're not good at direct numbers, we use the same signs rule. Same signs rule says, take the repeating sign, then you take, then you simply add, okay? So you take negative here, which is the repeating sign, then you say 32 plus one, then you get 33, then that's it, okay? So uh, let's see if we can uh, do this one. This one says find and simplify function of, of this, okay? So what it simply means is um, now on, where we had x, we're supposed to put this one. So we have um, f of 4x cubed minus 1 equal to, and then 3 minus, where you had x, we are supposed to put uh, this number here. So 3 minus 2, uh, then we have to put x. Our x is what? It's 4x cubed minus 1. Okay, so what, what it simply means is um, here we had f of whatever you put here, put here. That's what it simply means. So here you're going to put this whole train here. So if you put this whole train here, you're supposed to put it here as well. That's why I put it there. Okay. So here you get three. Then um, here you're just supposed to uh, uh, simplify in what? So negative two uh, times times eight. Then you get negative eight uh, x cubed here. Then negative and negative. Then you get positive. Okay. This is important. Uh, be careful with the with the signs because here is negative. There is negative also. That's why I was telling you and emphasizing that you should always use brackets, okay? Brackets clarify, uh, they make clear the signs that you're dealing with. So here, three plus two, then you simply get uh, five, then minus eight x to the power three, like this. So you get five minus 
h x to the power 3 and then you're done you have uh, simplified the whole thing and you cannot go any further okay so this was quite interesting i really like this one uh thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed obviously do subscribe i like the video as well because it helps other students uh, discover us okay you can recommend uh, this to some of your friends as well i would be grateful thanks so much for watching yuba out